Um, are we good to go? When are we going? Or? First. Start with the Black Baron, then Red Baron, which were two totally different boards. And those two stuck around for a few years. And the more that I rode them and the more, you know, as time went on, then I was like, I want a twin fin that goes in like good waves, like a, a good wave 20. And that was the Black Baron 2.1, you know, added the trailer and added more rockers. So that was, the evolution of our twin fins. And then we've like, okay, well let's go back and make a super fast, exciting twin fin that is really meant for, let's say one to three foot waves, you know, and yeah. flat waves and, and those weaker waves where it gets all the speed. It's like concave bottom. It's got a little light double. I feel like the, the, the flyer though is almost like a mediocre back fin. Like it works, like tightens the tail up so you can actually still push. Still push hard. Yeah. Um, you still feel like you're yeah, teetering out a lot and skinning yeah. out like a normal twin, you know? You always have that like, like you're flying that fast, you're about to slide out all the time. That'll fit that twin feeling, free twin feeling has. But with the flyer, I feel like it engages and, and holds its, you know, holds the return yeah, really it just well. Tightens up that, that tightens tail. up that tail area so you're still able to. It's got that full 20 feel, but it still has grip, or it still has that, that little bit of hold. You got the curve right too, from the first R&Ds we did with the flatter one and the, the curvy one. I think the curvy one just suits the whole setup with the fin and the, the flyer. Yeah, because right. you know this is obviously where we've ended up, and. It's just got a nice, con really cool, like continuous rocker. Very similar to the Black Baron 2.1, um, but you know, flyer, tighter tail, fins have been pulled back in, into a more traditional twin fin position, um, which is allowed for you know all the speed of the twin fin and still enough, still enough hold to obviously, like you said, you know surf five foot mail dives and go and surf one foot snapper today. Uh, when I was in the mail dives after surfing this one, I mean we had to surf a few different, quite a few different boards but every time I hopped in the water I was like I'd love to be in my 20 right now you know it's uh, it's one of those very addictive boards where I find it really free and easy to surf and you never have to think about speed because the moment you're at your feet, you, your speed is, it's just endless from that point on. So I really enjoyed this thing and yeah, might have to order another one. We've been, all of our testing, I would say majority of our testing has been with using a Futures Box and our JS Carbon Twin. These carbon, you know, there's just 100% carbon fins and... I think you can push them hard because that's the yeah. stiffness out of them. I think it works perfect for a board like this, you know. I used the MRs originally and it was like super loose. And then jumped the, and then swapped it out for the power twins from FCS. And that's where I found that really good balance of so much speed and so much hold. And the power twins just work really good. And, and you know, and obviously in futures, these our own carbon fins of size very similar to uh, by area as the power twin. Um, so, and this is what works best in it, I reckon, for futures. Done. Uh -huh. Done.